dear students you all know that uh, i am from the ca background and without attempting finals i switched to my acca journey and i am glad that i did that but there are certain students in today's time period who are confused that which course they should pursue and see we have number of choices these days be it the ca cas uh, these two option were available in my time as well again cma india cma usa uh, it's trending these days again cfa cpa and again my qualification is to see so um, student get confused that ma'am which course we should pursue and if they inquiry about any course uh, to certain institute sometime uh, they get uh, incorrect information or sometime they get the information but that is in a manipulated way so uh, uh, i was waiting uh, for the correct time uh, because i was busy in my other commitments and i have promised my students and uh, students around the globe that i will create a wide comparison of all these courses and based on that you can choose whatever course you feel comfortable so guys i have created a sheet in which i i am going to explain with the help of this sheet that which course you can choose uh, for your professional journey and based on these criteria you can uh, uh, select your desired qualification and even if after that you have any doubts you can reach out to me for your help so guys uh, these are the professional courses of commerce which are trending these days and uh like uh, students have messaged me specifically for the comparison of these courses so first of all our indian uh, uh hot favorite course which is chartered accountancy the country of origin of this course is in india and uh the eligibility for this course is uh for entry level is 12th level uh that is the 12th standard qualification minimum qualification which is required this is the minimum qualification we all know that uh now uh, like uh, after my attempt obviously uh, like uh, these people nowadays are very much lucky that uh, ca institute have given liberty of direct entry for the students of graduation the students who have completed their graduation with certain passing percentage they can enter into directly ipcc that is intermediate examination so uh, but yes minimum eligibility is for 12th standard so after your 12th standard you can appear for ca examination there are total 16 papers under three levels and total 100 marks per subject paper is there and minimum passing percentage and again i am talking about ipcc as well as inter as well as final here it's not about foundation for foundation we have like again a 50% aggregation thing so yes uh, like the minimum pass percentage is 40% per paper see normally uh, like you know uh, when people do comparison between ca and acca they think that okay in ca 40% pass percentage is required see 40% per paper is required but most of the students struggle in ca because they get the individual pass marks in individual subject they score 45 47 but sometime they are not able to get aggregate and that is the main challenge in case of ca and that's why student fail in ca qualification because uh, due to just one mark their aggregation is not coming in again sometime they are not able to get 40 marks in one subject and due to that they have to appear for that specific group once again so that's the most painful thing in ca examination and i i truly uh, you know uh, feel sad about those students who have to appear for all the ca examination of a specific group just because of one mark or two mark in their aggregation so yes uh, that's why uh, see nowadays the pass percentage of ca is increased as compared to the previous passing time when i was a student of ca i do remember that the pass percentage of that time period was just around 7% maximum but nowadays the minimum pass percentage of ca pass result is 20% almost minimum 20% student are clearing ca examination now uh, talking about the exam frequency so uh, see uh, ca institute is uh, uh, 
understanding this fact that nowadays the requirements of accountant is increasing the day by day and that's why they have made certain changes in their curriculum and that's why for the first two level that is entry level and intermediate level they have changed the structure that means now the exam is thrice a year uh, earlier when i was a student i do remember the exams were twice a year that in uh, november attempt and in my attempt but nowadays the attempts are three in case of my level one and level two uh, but for the final examination it's same as just like before twice a year now talking about the salary package the most important thing in which student are interested in so the average salary package is 10 to 12 lakh. Again, it depends upon the company, it depends upon the industry, it depends upon your number of attempts. Yes, in C examination, number of attempt matters in case you are uh, like uh, entering uh, via the campus placement, you will be getting more salary package. But if again, you are appearing for five times, seven times, or maybe eight or 10 times, then uh, it will impact your salary package. And uh, the fees, see, uh, C is comparatively cheaper in terms of institution fees. So C institution fees is around 80 to 90,000, uh, maybe maximum uh, 1 lakh. Uh, uh, it could vary up to maximum 1 lakh. So in terms of uh, institution fees, it's comparatively cheaper because the examination fees of uh, CA that is being an Indian course, it's less as compared to international professional qualifications. Now, the next area is your CS that is known as company secretary. Again, it's the Indian course and eligibility criteria is as same as like chartered accountancy qualification that is 12th standard uh, that is also known as higher standard qualification. So the total number of subjects and parts are 18 and again, total marks per uh, paper is 100. And again, just like CA, we have 40% per paper and 50% aggregation system in this case as well. So uh, it's just as same as CA in terms of pass marks. Again, uh, it has uh, like a more average pass percent as compared to Indian Chartered Accountancy. But the salary package of uh, CA's are comparatively less in um uh, in comparison to indian chartered accountants again but the coaching uh, like uh, the institution fees is also less as compared to uh, indian chartered accountancy it varies up to 45 to 50000 maximum 60000 is the fees of uh, institution fees again repeating this is apart from coaching fees uh, coaching fees depend upon uh, institute to institute package to package whether you are getting recorded classes whether you are getting uh, like live classes so it varies upon location to location and institution to institution that's why i have not covered that fees here now Next is ACCA, my hot favorite. The country of origin of ACCA is UK, but again, ACCA is recognized in more than 181 countries. And it's an international professional qualification and it's based on IFRS based curriculum. So the best part about ACCA, which I like, is that you can start your ACCA journey even after your ninth uh, standard. So like, you know, even if in your ninth standard, you can start your ACCA journey, that means you are starting your ACCA journey early. And if you are starting your ACCA journey early, you can finish up your professional qualification early and you can enter into the market early. And that's why you can earn early. So this is one of the biggest advantage, which I feel if you are pursuing ACCA qualification. Now, the next is the total number of paper. There are total uh, 13 paper in case of ACC qualification. But uh, ACC offers you different entry routes. Again, this ninth standard is the basic minimum eligibility criteria. You should have uh, like 13 plus age and uh, your ninth standard. But again, you can start your ACC journey after plus two, after graduation, during your graduation, after these professional courses like CA, 
and again uh, uh, you can pursue it along with some master's program and based on that you will be getting certain exemption and under ACCA program you can avail up to nine exemption that means you just have to appear four papers if you are getting maximum exemption which is the nine exemption which is available to mostly professionals or MBA based students based upon the university criteria and for that purpose you need to uh, 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 you know log into ACCA portal and you have to check your exemption via exemption calculator. So again, total marks are 100 per subject, but the pass marks is 50% per paper. But again, there is no negative marking in case of ACCA. So the paper is under three levels. So knowledge level, skill level, as well as professional level. So knowledge and skill are, are like, you know, uh, uh, comparatively easy as well as they have subjective as well as objective area. Uh, mostly knowledge level is an objective area, but professional level is totally subjective based. Now, uh, exam frequency. What I like another thing about ACC, it has exam frequency of four times in a year. That means you have total flexibility. You can plan your exam according to your time schedule and maybe you are pursuing some other qualification. Maybe you are pursuing job. Then you can manage it accordingly. And uh, institution fees is, uh, you know, uh, around... 3 lakh per uh, 3 lakh total it's a total fees of acca which is around 3 lakhs now uh, in inr i am telling about all these costs in inr but the average salary package is around 8 to 10 lakh it could be more uh, it's all about freshers if you gain some experience be it be if you are a member then uh, you will be having more salary package now Next is another very trending course, which is known as CPA USA. So the country of origin of CPA USA is a USA again. So for starting your CPA journey, the eligibility criteria is 12 standard, which is higher standard qualification. But again, you also need four year of qualification. That means you should be pursuing your master's in commerce. So without master's, you can't start your CPA journey. So um, that's why I, I think this is the plus point in ACC that you can start your ACC journey early. As soon as you reach at the master's level uh, to start your CPA, you will be done with your ACC. So this is the plus point in case you choose ACC over CPA. Again, it depends upon your priorities. If you want to pursue some US-based body course, then you can choose CPA. But again, if you want to choose uh, international qualification and if you want to start early and enter into the market, Market early, you can choose ACCA. So the total number of parts are four parts, four papers in uh, CPA, and the total marks are 396. It's something different, right? So 396 is the total marks, and minimum pass marks is 75% per paper. That's why it's comparatively tougher to clear CPA examination as compared to ACCA examination. Again, average passing percentage, it's, it's as same as ACCA. Uh, it's around 45 to 50% student pass uh, their CPA examination. Again, if I talk about exam frequency, it's as same as like ACCA being international qualification. And the average salary package, again, vary from 10 to 12 lakh. It could be less, it could be more, depending upon your company, depending upon student and professional himself. Uh, so the uh, fees is one lakh fifty thousand. Then again, this is part from coaching fees. Now, next is CMA USA. It's not Indian C. I'm talking about uh, CMA USA. So the country is again USA, and the eligibility criteria is as same as CPA USA. That means you must be pursuing your master's. Uh, at least you should have reached the master level. So the total number of subjects are 12 again here and total marks are 500 per level. So again, minimum pass marks is again 360 per part out of 500. Again, it's more than 50% as compared to ACC or CA other papers. It's around 70, 75% pass percentage. So uh, again, it's have a exam frequency of three times in a year. Uh, it's uh, like, you know, lesser than uh, CPA as well as ACCA. 
again pass percentage is around 45 to 50 percent and the salary package is comparatively less as compared to acc as well as cpa because it's a cost accountancy body so uh, see acc is a combination it's a cocktail of fund accountant management accountant financial analyst again tax analyst so it is having more salary package because it depends upon the industry to industry but uh, cma person being just part of the uh, like you know they are just uh, uh, having the knowledge of uh, this uh, costing based area so yes that's why uh, they are uh, like having uh, as compared to less uh, as compared to acc as well as uh, uh, CPA less parts percentage. Now, next is regarding uh, uh, like CFA. So CFA is uh, CFA is again a US based body, and CFA is having the same eligibility criteria just like CPA and CMA. USA again we have three levels in CPA. And we have total 10 number of subject in CPA. So uh, total marks 180, 84, 44. MCQ based reason being because we have three levels. So that's why I have segregated it on a, a level wise based. Again, uh, like uh, we need above standard uh, uh, percentage. That is the percentile system is there. So minimum 50% percent percentage is required. And uh, almost... 45 to 50 percent student pass their CFA examination and uh, exam frequency for one first level four times in a year, second level three times in a year and uh, third level two times in a year uh, is the exam frequency of CFA exams. So uh, again talking about salary package they have right now more salary per uh, package as compared to other qualification. And the uh, reason being because CCFA is a financial role and nowadays finance is again in demand. So this was a comparison between all these courses. By any chance you need more explanation on these courses, you guys can reach out to me and I will be happy to help you out. And guys, please make sure to choose your course wisely based upon the cost, based upon the job opportunities, again, based upon your area of interest. So this was all about the commerce professional courses and I will be coming uh, live with more courses, with more information and specifically for ACC. So stay tuned and be connected on my YouTube channel, on my Instagram handler, as well as on my LinkedIn profile to get updated information about commerce and its courses. Thank you. Yeah.